Hey guys, it's Woody Mark here, coming with another episode of my Road to Glory and Road to 100 Goals, where we try to get Victor Barber to 100 goals, and also try to get to that Division 1 goal. But, as you can see, as I always do, rotate the side. I haven't signed any players in a bit, because this is episode 14, and I think it's been around... Four or five episodes without a signing because I've been saving up coins. But I can tell you I've got a decent amount of coins to spend on players. I was thinking of making a new team and brilliant finish here. But I don't think I have quite enough. But to keep the series fresh what I will do is still sign some players for you guys. Because it keeps it a little bit fresh and a little bit entertaining this series. Because... You don't want to see gameplay all the time. What What's gameplay about? So, But uh, this guy had a... Yeah, he had a pretty good team. Like some underrated players. Here I just mucked up. Like, there I mucked up. I didn't actually know this was Griezmann. So I thought Benzema on his left foot. The odds of him scoring are unlikely. If I knew it was a Griezmann, maybe I would have had a different mentality going into that challenge. But... You just never know, do you? It happens, I guess. Griezmann and Benzema look kind of similar in a way. Griezmann's a little bit smaller. But don't worry, we're gonna... In the 80th minute now, I've been... <laughs> I didn't even notice it was that far into the game. Victor Abarbo on the ball. He does a pretty good challenge, actually. But kind of hasty with his clearance. He didn't need to clear it out like that. But as you can see, I'm just playing it around, like taking my time with it all. Victor Abarbo, I kind of thought, you know what, I'm going to skill him and I'm going to shoot and I am going to score to make it 2-1. So a very, very important goal for Victor Abarbo. And if I can say so myself, that was pretty nice. And I just remembered I need to edit the numbers in this video of the goals because I don't know what number he was on. I think that was around 46, if I am correct. But Honda, oh, with the beautiful chip. The keeper only went like one step off his line. But I thought, you know what, why not? And Honda scored a beautiful goal. And so far, I'm kind of thinking Honda is not a bad player so far. I would like him to be like <clears throat> better on the ball, perhaps, and like have a better weak foot, but... You take what you get at the end of the day, it's just how it goes, but I'd still advise getting him, he's not a bad player at all. But, as you can see, we're six wins and one defeat, just that one defeat last episode. Quite an unlucky defeat, I would personally say, like crosses and headers. But here we come up against a really good 3-5-2 side. But you see weaknesses in the side, so got to take advantage of it. But he unnecessarily charges out his keeper. But Zinger on the ball, and check out this dribbling by Zinger. Oh, that was just a beautiful golasso. May actually add some music in there because that was quite a nice goal. Didn't think I would, but looking at it again, oh, that that is just too lovely. Even though technically no skill moves were performed in that goal, it was still a beautiful piece of dribbling. But oh dear, Rooney on the ball, he's doing a nice piece of dribbling. And then same with Matter actually, this is actually quite poor defending, but. Benucci gets the tackle in, but unluckily it doesn't get it back. But the Siglio's on the ball, that five-star weak foot helps a lot. I actually went for the in-between-the-legs manoeuvre, which not many people use anymore. But Guarin, our signing from a few episodes ago, doing okay. Edison gives it into Zinka, and to be honest, I didn't even need to put any power on it. Because I knew the keeper wasn't going to save it. I just had to put it in that corner... Minimal power, didn't even finesse it. I literally just tap circle and it was in. Because those kinds of goals, I don't know if it's the same on next gen or technically current gen, I suppose. But you can score those goals so easily on that kind of console. But nice one too, into a barbo, ball roll and it P rolls into the net. It was a miss hit by a barbo, so a bit lucky. But to be honest, ball roll, I had almost like an open goal to deal with. So it deserved to be a goal. 
but three goals to nil and here it isn't the time you really want to concede crosses it in and Eto gets it and he gives me the shush and the dead fish I'm pretty sure Oda can you hear me and the dead fish so and you're kind of thinking I'm three nil I'm three one up bro why are you giving me that it's like I wish I actually I do score um, a goal. The next goal, I wish I just ran around shushing him. Just to kind of teach him a lesson more than anything. Because some noobs need to be taught a lesson. But check. Horrific mistake. And Obarbo shoots to make it four goals to one. Oh, and I have put the numbers in. <laughs> Didn't think I did. But that is four goals to one. Goal number 46. So... Great goal. Well, wasn't really a great goal. It was just a pathetic mistake by the player. But two mistakes I've done in this game. I've conceded just before half time, which is terrible to do. And I've conceded just after I scored a goal. These two are arguably the worst times to concede a goal, but cross it in. And he's giving me the shush and the dead fish again. It's like, oh no, he didn't give me the dead fish that time but he shushed me which is going like is he trying to get inside my head but that's the end of the video so like subscribe then what do you want to see you guys